Hi guys, this is Raja Pandithurai. Welcome to our Kattari Vom YouTube channel. Today I am going to explain how to fix the cone fault in fire alarm system in easy ways. So please don't skip this video until the end. Let's go. What is cone fault? Cone fault is defined as the unwanted grounding of one or more conducting wires. It can happen inside the fire alarm enclosure, metal junction boxes, metal raceway, or any other locations in which conducting wires and an earth ground source are closer in proximity. Your friend and crown fall are the same. When you get the trouble over there, you need to fix as soon as possible. Otherwise, it will put you in deep trouble. Crown falls potentially cause the circuit to operate improperly so we need to fix the ground fault as soon as possible to finding ground fault is a matter of time and patience relatively it will be easier to repair i'm going to take over this topic on addressable and conventional system one by one I am using here the reference design as shown in figure. We have two options to find out the ground fault in SLC loop. First one, when you will disconnect SLC in pair of wire, if APACP will not show the ground fault exists, which means SLC in has the ground fault. When you will disconnect SLC out pair wire, if FECB will not show the ground fault exists, which means SLC out has the ground fault. Vice versa, when you will disconnect SLC in, if FECB will show the ground fault, which means SLC out has the ground fault. When you will disconnect the SLC out pair wire, if APCV will show the ground fault exists, which means SLC in has the ground fault. By using these simple steps, we can find out the ground fault easier and quicker. First of all, I'm taking SLC in pair wire devices to find out the ground fault easier this is the best way uh, so i can disconnect the slc uh, out pair wire so you don't have any interrupt over there for your understanding i'm showing the place where we have ground fault as shown in figure l1 m2 has ground fault as shown in figure so I am going to cut off the continuity in the middle of SLC in pair wire. When I will cut off the continuity in the middle of SLC in pair wire, the FACP will not show the ground fault exist, which means we need to go forward to find out the ground fault. When I will cut off the continuity in the place where I have shown in figure, the FECB will show the crown fault, which means we have the crown fault backward of the device. So we need to go backward to find out the troubleshooting of crown fault. When I am cutting off the continuity after L1 M1, the FECB control panel will not show the ground fault which means l1 m2 is the culprit so we need to troubleshoot over there maybe it has a ground fault with the back box or with conduit vice versa when you will make troubleshooting for ground fault in slc out fair wire you need to follow the same way what we have done in SLC in pair wire troubleshooting for ground fault. 
so far we are troubleshooting for adjustable system now we need to turn on the conventional system same as adjustable system i'm showing the place where we have current fault in zone 1 of conventional system when i will cut off the continuity as zone in figure zone 1 has open fault in fire alarm control panel to avoid this problem i am using end of the line resistor to close the loop then you can test the ground fault in usual way then you can find out the ground fault in the next video i am going to explain the open fault in fire alarm system if you will find this video informatively you can like share comment and don't forget to subscribe my Katari Om channel thank you very much